he's just excited to watch the guys, watch the chemistry come together. Hard to believe Coach Bednar's eighth season behind the bench for the Avs. One of the longest tenured in the National Hockey League as the puck comes into the app zone, and Byron will take the hit. Hey, stripped. Hansel gives it up, and that puck is all the way down the ice. A quick clear by Smallman. 30 seconds to go in this avalanche kill. Here's Hague again. Far side to near his Kolasar. Kicked it off. Back to Rimpal. Quick three shot there. Snuffed away. In the circle, Rimpal shoots, and he scores. Short side is Kolasar. Was right in front of Georgiev, providing the screen in the Vegas Golden Knights with a power play goal. Have taken a one nothing lead. Borderline interference. Watch 55 in front here. Just planting his spot. Your gift can't see in, and they definitely know interference. I'll take that back. And we had a great angle here that was short side, just about two inches above the pad. Pretty much a perfect shot. Here's a great look at it. Look at that, right above the pad. Nice screen. Junior hockey team, the Nanaimo Clippers, had 110 points with 59 goals that season. So he knows how to score. Yep, he knows how to shoot that puck, and that was wide. As Byron pushes it back down into the corner. Button slams it ahead. Here comes Vegas again with Morelli. I clear it out. Down low, an opportunity. Georgiev stops it. Not once, but twice. And that was a great kick save with a left pad. I always talk about it like a pinball machine. Watch the flipper, folks. It's not there, and then it is. <laughs> Just the perfect save. He's so good down low, so athletic. And when you're a smaller goaltender, meaning. I'm not sure I've ever seen a more egregious interference penalty <laughs> in my life. <laughs> It wasn't that hidden, was I mean, it? Sometimes guys try to disguise them a little bit. Abs haven't had a shot on goal in the last seven minutes. Let's see if they can break something up. Johansson to drill it. Byron finds a louse and walks in and shoots. And that's off the glove of Thompson. Jonathan Druin, we know he's got skill. He's going to be on the power play in the regular season. Depends on which unit. Into the slot. Deflected save by Thompson. A couple of bounces off the stick of Poland. Went back up top, Byron will take over again. Olausen back to Bowen Byron. That's creeping in, there's a wrist shot. Hag in the way, and that's what he will do, the big defenseman. Straight away is Byron. Walking in, Olausen looks, and he fans on his wrister. Just slid off the end of his blade, and now there's two broken sticks on the ice. Two and a half players essentially for Vegas into the slot, and that missed Johansson. Well, the Avs can do a lot of damage with two guys out there with no twig. Everybody creeping in. Byron in the slot. Shoots, and that's blocked away. 30 seconds to go in the power play. No shots on goal so far officially. Drew it. Johansson shoots and scores! Ryan Johansson. His first goal in the Colorado Avalanche sweater. As he turned in the far circle and fired away. It's a 1 1 game. But he's able to get his stick on it over to Drew Ann. Watch this. He just grabs it and releases it with no time and probably puts 85 miles an hour on that wrister. Just right there. What a beauty. Middleton, of course, has been in the organization for a while, but his wow. eyes is back a little bit. Under a minute to go here, period number one. Logan O'Connor able to squeeze and keep things alive. On the stick, Olausen in front, scores! Oscar Olausen! A beautiful stick handling move, and he'll slide it right through the five hole. The Avs have taken a 2-1 lead. Cracked it in the first round, but you're right. Logan O'Connor creates a turnover right there, good call Moj. And then let Skill take over. What a beauty little backhand pass. Little backhand forehand slide through the fiber. Those are the kind of goals in exhibition games that can spark young talent at 20 years old. Olausen comes in. Boy, that's got to feel good for him at the end of the day. What sweet hands. He had 11 goals last year. He's an all-around complete player. The best second-line center in the National Hockey League, according to me. The two centers the Avs acquired in the offseason, Ryan Johansson and Ross Colton, are both excellent at the dot. So look for more of that coming up in the regular season as Wall brings that puck ahead for Vegas. Golden Knights played last night oh, no, no. in San Jose. We have a penalty coming up. It's going to be a high stick, and it's going to be on Waugh. 
Oscar Olauson, the former first round pick with a tally here already this evening. That will give the abs the lead. There's a steal. And he spins on his wrister. Off his stick. Byron will walk in. A drag move. Set in front by Myers and is saved by Patera. Well, Byron trying to find people tonight. Not shooting that puck nearly as much as he normally would. Golden Knights back in. Saved by Eustace Sonnenden. Nice blocker and stuck right with that puck right before the horn. He couldn't get all the mustard on that. Now watch. Eustace Sonnenden comes across. Let's keep it going. I want an action pack third period because the second was stuck in the mud just a little bit. Just a little bit, and here we go. Ryan Johansson. Holy oh, crap. Oh, McDermott with a big hill on the end boards as he got into Hag in a big time wing. Long drive there, never got to the front of the net. And Pantera tried to chase him with a stick. Stop! Curtis McDermott all the way to the blue paint. And the big runaway, big rig, says. That creates a chaos down below. And then he just outmuscles his man to the front of the net. What a slick little play right there from Holland. And Curtis McDermott just fills it in. But that entire shift was based on big number 56. The work ethic. Hey, they're moving him up front. I'd say, based on today's game, that's quite a bit of early success. And well, when you're on his tracks, you better watch out because he brings that in. All of your wind is gone. He's right back into the play. What a great job. Yeah, and you know, playing defense, you got to play with a little bit of poise, but you can be reckless up front. I think that fits his game real well. And that last shift and goal just proved it. Set off back for Cormier. He'll find the red line. Wrapped around. Holden. So they go up the board. Quick shot. Score on the near side. And Cormier sneaks in to bang it home and make it a 3-2 game. Lucas Cormier from the back end. His face driven into the glass. Walked right there. That's the play. That's the turnover. And then quick as it can happen, bing, bang. You get watching the puck, and it's in the back of the net. That was more of an NHL caliber style play and how fast a turnover can go into the backside. That's a learning moment there. But just like that, Vegas is back in it. You're saying, hey, easy, guys. you got to keep it clean, keep it clean. And that's a way to keep the game moving. Nice job. Outlet finds Cotter. Here he comes. It's Sean. Blew a tire. In front. Saved by Eustace Oninen. They get a stick on it. Here's Eustace Oninen keeping it. No carryover players. Coach Ben wants every guy who's in camp to get at least one game. Ben Myers now 6-1 and one at the faceoff circle here this evening. Sloughed off. It was Olauson. Fired ahead now for Cotter. Not around a mock. Sends it far side. And it's shot wide and a penalty is coming up. Vegas will keep control of the puck. Do they know it's a delayed call? Cross eyes pass into the skin. We'll take a look right here. Amat just gets behind on body position. He's got no choice. So here we go. The exciting 20 seconds. Well, we talk about faceoffs. Brian Johansson out there for this one. But Vegas wins it, kicks it up top. Near side, Cotter. Had it knocked away, Johansson made the play. Sit all the way down, wide to that cage by Fairbrother. Six seconds to go, here's the final rush. Fired up ice. Wide is Carrier, and that's going to do it. Couldn't get it up.